Hi guys, it's Baldrick here. In today's episode, I'll be talking about a gaming peripheral that you don't really need, but it does help to have it. And if you're really into gaming, I would recommend you have one. But if you're on a budget, I don't really recommend it that much. But if you can definitely afford one, I'll be guiding you on the different types of keyboards you can get. So you've got basically three, or I guess two different main types of keyboards. You've got the membrane membrane keyboards which are just sort of standard but you can also get gaming membrane keyboards which are also very good that's what I use and you can get the mechanical keyboards which a lot of people say are much more responsive but much louder it sounds like clicking a mouse every time you type so I'm not sure if you're really into that uh, I'm not really too much into it but I may consider getting one in the future so, uh, the advantages of the membrane keyboard is that it's quieter, it's also less expensive, and also, I guess they're more common than the mechanical keyboard, unless you're going specifically for gaming. Uh, so, we'll just talk about the gaming membrane keyboards. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why, but I bought a MMO keyboard, even though I don't play any MMOs apart from Elder Scrolls Online. So, that was a really... I guess not the best choice of me, but it does work very well for first person shooters. I have not encountered one single problem. And that's also another factor. You don't really need a gaming keyboard. You can get away with a cheap, uh, I guess, $10 Logitech keyboard. Because a lot of people, uh, especially uh, laptop gamers, they just, they're stuck with one keyboard and they're fine, so I don't really think it's too much of a problem to be honest. Uh, so with a membrane you've got lower response times, not really by too much, and I guess they're less reliable, they're more likely to stuff up than a mechanical keyboard because they're cheaper, but that's about it. Uh, the mechanical keyboards are more geared towards first person shooters I guess, whereas some membrane ones are good for MMOs as you don't need too fast of reflexes to play them and that's about it for membrane keyboards uh, you can get them from about they range from obviously the $10 typical Logitech non-gaming ones to the I guess $200 ones with s screens on them which is like the Razer Deathstalker Ultimate it's got a screen on it for like it's got a UI, like, why would you do that on a keyboard anyway? It's pretty awesome, I, I wouldn't mind having one, but I also would mind paying $250 for a keyboard. Anyway, uh, so that's it for membrane. Now you've got your mechanical keyboards. Uh, the mechanical keyboards are of, often uh, very nicely lit. A lot of membrane keyboards I find aren't too nicely lit, but you can obviously get very fancy uh membrane ones and also remember if you're getting a gaming keyboard make sure it's got lights on it so you can see in the dark even if they're very faint uh so yeah let's get on to mechanical now so for mechanical you want there's different types of switches i'm not an expert but you can get cherry mx red or you can get green or even razors i think was coming out with their own one so uh it they all vary, I'm not the biggest expert, but some are quieter and less responsive, some are loud and really responsive, I'm not really too sure, but it they give you all a description of what they are, so you can just pick that when you're researching your keyboard. So what I recommend if you're getting a uh, mechanical keyboard is, if you play first person shooters, if you're just into typing, I wouldn't really recommend it because for MMOs, you're not really... I know you're executing commands, but you don't need a mechanical keyboard. This is just for fast-paced games, I guess. Uh, so, you're not looking into any of the macro keys that some of the MMO keyboards offer. You're just looking for a plain keyboard with lighting, and that's really all mechanical keyboards come under. It's just response times. Uh, to be honest, you don't really need one, but... If you do want a first-person shooter gaming keyboard, definitely get one. Uh, if you don't like the loud noise, say you, I don't know, like to talk on Skype a lot, maybe you get a r really, get the top-of-the-line membrane keyboards, because they can be almost as good. Anyway, I think that's about it for today's episode. Uh, 
tell me in the comments if I missed anything, and I would really appreciate it. See you guys, have a nice day.